Welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a brand new day. We're back in Napa getting our Gots on Bull hamburgers. Can't God, wait. Gots has kind of become sort of a tradition after landing. I know. Except we kind of have to rush this time because we sat on the plane for like 30 minutes. Um, but it's okay. And our driver drove 40 miles an hour. So it's fine. It's sunny. It's warmer than I thought it was going to be. I'm really digging my new glasses, which nobody can see in this lighting, but. Just watch when you, uh. Are you gonna bring them over here? Lift your burger up. Why, what's wrong with it? Napkins are gonna go flying. Got it. Watch your wine. MG. Get it. Let us know how it is. Wow, that beacon looks good. Would you got avocado on it? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Is it as good as you remember? Mm -hmm. I got a toothpick, a floss. That's that on the audio. So we're at O'Brien Estate. That's where the O'Briens live. Tell me that this is not like, uh, this would be my dream house. Could you imagine waking up to this every day? Because I can't imagine waking up to this every day. You, are you gonna buy me a vineyard or what? It's on the bucket list <laughs> of what my life goals. I feel like you're gonna buy us the vineyard. I feel like I might buy, buy us the vineyard. Cheers to that. Girl Cheers power. to women buying vineyards and waking up to this view every day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wrong button. Double fisting with chocolate. <laughs> and a view. What kind of chocolate is this? Truffle? Mm -hmm. So a sip of the wine. This is 2016 cab. No. Yes, 2016. This is 2019, this is 2016. <gasps> How dare you? I'm so happy. I like the 2016. How happy is this? Very happy. Well, you know, <laughs> happy and sad. We cry a little, we laugh a little, that's life. But it's generally happy. And wine makes everything better. Nice little nightcap, even though the night is not over. Sitting outside of the hotel, having complimentary wine. Cheers to us, Bean. Chin chin. Keeping warm by the fire. How romantic is this? I love it. Oh, the fire went out. Okay. Too bad. Oh. Getting too close to it. Is it me? I don't know, maybe. I think it's the wind. But also my new bag, in case anyone wants to know. She's sexual, I would say. I think we need her in a white color. Come, babe. Same dinner as me. Good morning. Welcome to a brand new day. It's 7 a.m. in Napa. Mike and I went to bed at 8.30 last night. It was a long travel day yesterday. The flight's like six hours here, but then once we landed in San Francisco, we were on the tarp, the mat, you know, on the plane. We were sitting on the plane for like over a half an hour, so it kind of derailed our day just because we had a tasting at 3 p.m. at O'Brien Estate, which guys, that was maybe the prettiest I don't know though, they're all really pretty. There's like over 600 vineyards in Napa, which is wild to even think about. One of the prettiest like 
places I think I've been. You guys saw the view. It was like really insane. It was like very peaceful and it felt very consuming. Like I don't know how to explain it. We all know I'm like struggling about my dad. Um, and I feel like I've been struggling this month with my birthday and like Easter and it being like the last holiday, the first holiday that he's not around. And then I got some news yesterday. I have a new opportunity coming my way, which is like really exciting, but it's like painful in, and I don't wanna cry, but I'm gonna cry. And this is what I did yesterday in the vineyard, but I didn't record it because I didn't want to, but it's like painful in those moments to get like really great news and wanna like share them with people that you love. And it's hard when like I can't call my dad or I can't call my grandpa and like tell them the exciting news. But Mike said yesterday when we were at the vineyard and I was getting upset that like he, my dad knows. So I know that he knows, but it's just like the pain of not being able to pick up the phone and tell that person and like hear the reaction. That was my day yesterday. And then what did we do? And then we sat outside by the fire pit and then we went to, I think the name of the restaurant was Allegra. I don't recommend it and I'm mentioning it so that I remind myself the next time that we come in the future that it wasn't really that great. The food was okay, what did we get? We got burrata and a salad. The brat and the salad was good, but then I got like um, linguine vongole, which is linguine with clams, which you guys know, I love if you watch my vlogs. I get that all the time, especially when I'm on vacation, and it was like subpar. Today, the sun is rising. It's really cold outside. Otherwise, I would just be talking to you guys outside on the balcony, but I'll do that later. It's like 40 degrees out this morning. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna get myself together. My allergies have been totally terrible but they're a little bit better here. It's still not great. I don't know if I sound nasally. And I got a rash, which I think you guys will have seen. I haven't worn makeup in uh, like almost a week. I think the last time I wore makeup, no, Saturday. So like it's been five days, but it feels like a lifetime. So I wanted to try and get my face to be better by the time we got to Napa because we're on vacation and I wanna look cute. So I haven't been putting any skincare on and I've just been letting, well, I've been putting skincare up here, but I've been letting my face dry out down here and it's looking a little better and I think I'm gonna be a little courageous today and put some makeup on between the tasting the wine I had with the hamburger and the free wine and the cocktail that we had like I feel a little hungover today so kudos to Mike because Mike was like I'm not getting a drink at dinner peer pressured me into not getting a drink and thank god because this morning he woke up like a freaking spring chicken and I'm like not feeling my best but let me show you a little bit of the room and then I'm gonna go work out Here's the room when you first walk in. That's the bedroom. Here's the bathroom. We're gonna go in the bathroom first. Tubby, y'all know I love a tubby and I can't wait to have one later. And then look, there are doors that close um, or open so you can just see through the whole room. But like the lighting in this room is unbelievable. Here is the shower and then double sink. Sorry, it's kind of a mess and I didn't really get to unpack yesterday because like I said, we were in such a rush. I love the size of this mirror. It's such a nice mirror. And then yeah, I'll show you what the other room looks like. Here's another full length mirror. Here's my suitcase that I didn't unpack like I just said, but then like the way the sun comes into this room, this room is just, look at this freaking mural. It's just like so romantic. Mike doesn't love it because he thinks it's small. He's kind of a hotel snob, um, but we'll keep that between us. But I think it's like perfect. Like honestly, all the of the places that we've stayed, this is where I was sitting when I was just talking to you guys. But of all the places that we've stayed, like in Napa, this one is by far my favorite. It's a little freezing outside, but like I would love to sit out there and just like chit chat with you guys. Let's see, is it still for a sip? Look at this. I mean, you can't even like do this justice, but this is the river walk. And then that's the river between the trees. And you just go down this walk and it brings you to the Oxbow Market. But this is where we were sitting last night when we were having our drinks by the fire. There are seats there, there are seats there. It's just like, Oh, it's so beautiful. If you could just like smell the crisp air. <sighs> and then I'm gonna sit here later. Maybe read a book or something. Oh my God, it's just, guys, this is what dreams are made of, honestly. 
I love it here. I really want to live in California. I wish our families weren't on the East Coast or that they could all just move with us because it's just like different feelings here. I love it. Give us the rundown. Checking in. Give us the rundown of Gurkic. So we were at Gurkic Hills Estate, which has an interesting history. It's pretty cool. But the tasting is inside, which yeah, terrible. Especially when it's as pretty as it is. It's so outside. pretty outside. And then like, I don't know, the staff for me was a little bit they were nice, but they were a little bit like off. Yeah. I think off is the word in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I agree. And the wines were kind of okay. Yeah, the wines were okay. So I don't know. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was good to try. I don't know that I go back there, though. I went, well, we booked it because I heard they had one of the best Cabernets. And the last cab was very good. The last cab was really good, but I feel like we've had better for, cab here. They were selling it for 185 a bottle, which is just out of our price I range. think that Buena Vista has better cabs. Yeah, I agree. Um, but now we're at Nickel and Nickel. Which is just gorgeous on like first impression. Yeah, I'm excited. Very nice property. We've tried to come here like three times. And now we're here. And they never have they a reservation. Outside, which is always a bonus. I know. Insert clip of horses here. Yeah. Cheers. Chin chin. Was that our wine? Yeah, it was. I don't know why the other server was walking up to the table, but that's um, okay. That, that is our wine. All right, so, so we're good. Great. Yeah, so we're good. So we can go ahead and head out to the table. There. My apologies. No, don't be sorry. So how are you two? First impressions. I'm dead, personally. Yeah, I mean, this property is very pretty. I've died and I went to heaven. I mean, and the front porch is beautiful, the back porch is beautiful. They got a lot of porches. They got horses. The staff is very nice. Than your last misstep. Look at this. Hey, my last <laughs> misstep. <laughs> Look at this spread. I'm so excited. And we have a cheese pairing. We have Swiss cow's milk cheese rubbed with espresso and lavender. Mm. And cow's milk cheese from your favorite and mine. Italy. What is it? Italy? Yay. <laughs> Look at my little petunia walking through the petunias. I don't even know what a petunia is. It smells really good out here. I would love to be a horse in this vineyard. They look very befuddled. They look very confused. They're like, what is this guy saying? Should I come to him? Should I not? What'd you say? They're like frozen. They are frozen. They're so cute. What a time walking along the mountains. Oh my God, I just love it here. I will never get bored of this place. I could come here like six times a year, I think, 
and I would love it just as much each and every time. I can't hear what you're saying. Nickel and Nickel, you have to go. If you ever come to Napa, this is the place. Write it down. We're back at our favorite coffee place, Napa Stack. I got the lavender latte this time. I think Mike got something different. So, it's so good though. It's like really creamy and not too sweet. Highly recommend if you're in the area. Definitely get it. Probably like the best latte I've ever had, honestly. And so good after a day of wine tasting when you just need to drink something that's not wine. And when you're sleepy, because after all the wine, I definitely get tired. We back and we have a new friend. We have my hat we have that's a new back. Old friend. Um, last night, confession. I got a little too drunk and I left my hat at the restaurant and then I didn't notice until this morning. I hope this camera doesn't fly away. I didn't notice until this morning when we were leaving to the, for the winery and I was like, where is my hat? And so here we are. Here we are. They had it at the restaurant. I called this morning, like two minutes before they opened. Well, I actually called early, early this morning and they weren't open. And then I called again two minutes before they opened and Jessica, no, that's not her name. Jessica? Yasmin. Yasmin? You're not very good with names. No, I've because noticed. you know why. She said, do you have no. my hat? And you, she said, Jessica. Giselle? have your hat? Giselle. Giselle, yeah. Giselle had my hat. I called this Jessica. morning. <laughs> no, listen. Jessica is someone else. So I called this morning and Giselle said that they had my hat. And then Jessica just emailed me. No, texted me. Said what? To confirm my reservation at minor tomorrow. Uh, That's why I'm getting very confused with people's names. It would have been funny if you called there and they said, Noica, we don't have your hat. I would have cried. I was like really distraught this morning when I couldn't find my hat and then the thought of them you not having it. You take on like an alter ego in Napa when you have this hat on. I do. It's like, this is like my Napa hat. It's like Napa fortune. It's like a happier version of myself. I don't know what it is, but it's like when you put the hat on. What's my like, name in this hat? It's like when Indiana Jones puts his hat on. What's my name in this hat? I don't know either. We'll get to it. But when we went to the restaurant to go get the hat right now, she had two hats. She had two green hats that, that were literally very similar. Very sim Mine was nicer than the I other agree. one. Yeah. But she had two like velvet green hats. Mm -hmm. What a time. Maybe that's why they were confused this morning. Maybe. Maybe. Stay tuned. Porch is going to race a boulder down a cliff later. Hee haw. Here we are at my favorite place. No, I Mike's being difficult. He doesn't know what he wants. You are being difficult. I'm not. You are, but it's okay. Because at least we're here, and I'm gonna get a lot of oysters. And yeah, it's a beautiful day. We're outside. The vibes are good. The feeling's good. Yeah. I got the clam chowder, as I always get. I got a dozen oysters because I thought Mike was gonna share them with me and then he got carnitas and didn't. But he's back after being shunned from the restaurant because he couldn't bring outside food in. In the outside area. In the outside area, which makes zero sense. If you're but outside, you can't have food from not inside the restaurant here. Right. Outside. Makes no sense. But he housed it so he could come sit with me. So sweet. <laughs> fancy walkway wherever we go. Alright, come on, let's go. Okay. You wanna get an Uber back? Yeah, I'll get it. doing sir hi Zeus oh he's saying hello no what does that mean I don't know either hi cash
Thank you, sweet boy. I had such a fun time with you. Oh, he's your sweet boy. You're so sweet. Thanks, Cash. Mm, what a time. Back at our favorite place and our favorite love pod. Love and life. <laughs> In the love pod. In the love pod. Look at this view, though. And all the horses. I feel like we were just here. Because we kind of were. But I'd be here every day if I could. Who is that staring at us? Trying to get our cheese. Because he jacked our cheese before. That little crow. He's big. He's like the size of Brogan. Look at that. How was that cheese? Was it good? So I put the cheese that the crow dropped on the floor right there. You can see it. And he moved over. I can't see him though, but he's over there somewhere. Yeah, right. Yes! You're welcome, sir. Wow, he's a big boy. Go us. Uh, he took all three of them at once. I cut it up for him. He ain't having that. He don't give a shit. <laughs> he's taking it all. He's like, I will take Look, all the cheese. Oh my god. Dude, he left one. Carla. Hi, Mama. Give her a piece of cheese. Carla likes all the brie. All the soft cheese. All the soft cheese. What a little Mama. Mm. What a little girl. She's so tiny. She reminds me of Gianna's cat. Let me pet you now. Let me pet you now. Yes. Let me give you pets. Go say hi to the other people. They said we're hogging you. Are you going to go pet him? He's cute. He said thank you. I know. He said I'm going to lick the wall. He's licking the wall? Ew. That's weird. Well, we had our second tasting today at Minor Family Winery. And the view is nice. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day. The wine was in, to be honest. I don't think we'll be coming back here, but the view is really nice. What do you think? Would you agree with me? You agree with all that? It's nice that we didn't sit inside, but the wine was like, eh. So, but the view in the day is just stunning. It's a stunning day. It is true. Good morning. It's our last day in Napa. And I just want to do like a quick check-in with you guys because I feel like I haven't really been doing a stellar job at filming this vlog, which is like... A little unfortunate because I have been looking forward to this trip for I don't know like months and months I was having like the best time the first two days and then I don't know what happened I just think that like the classic like you can't leave your problems behind um, so I don't know I just I've had a lot of like happy times and sad times it's like the same life that I'm living at home just now in California specifically in Napa so I mean, I'm having a great time. I definitely want to be grateful and I want to like lift my spirits for today, but I don't know. I just, the, like yesterday we went horseback riding, which I took clips of and that place always puts me in a great mood. And I was at such a high, high. And then I don't know what happened. I just hit like such a low, low last night. Um, and I woke up today on the wrong side of the bed. And I'm PMSing. Just a friendly reminder, I'm putting Merit in the shade baby on just because I haven't been able to wear like any makeup on this trip. I did a full face yesterday. I did a get ready with me. I'll link it up here. But like my skin has, it's better now, but like I had a breakout. My skin was like peeling off of my face. I packed so much makeup only to use like none of it. So today I just put what I've been putting on aside from yesterday when I did a full face, but I put a little bit of hourglass concealer around my eyes and around my mouth and on this blemish. Um, I filled in my brows with the Merit Brow Gel and then I just filled in any sparse areas using my Gucci Brow Pencil and I threw on a little bit of mascara. I'm wearing Lancome Lashy Dole. And then guys, like I don't really love this lipstick, but 
when I'm not wearing any makeup and my lips feel like a little chapped, like this is just a nice color for me when I have no makeup on. I don't know, like it doesn't drown me out. I don't need to line my lips. It kind of just sits really comfortably. So this is why I love to bring things and use things that I don't necessarily like because I always seem to find a way to like them. But I wanna show you my outfit because I wore such cute dresses on this trip and I didn't really show you any of them. Like. I haven't really been vlogging my outfits. Mike really hasn't been vlogging, vlogging me at all. I don't know, like I can't explain it. The vibe's just like off, which is really sad and I don't wanna cry and get upset about it because I've been looking forward to this trip for months and months. Um, but it just goes to show that like, you can't leave your problems behind, unfortunately. Um, and there's just like a lot going on in life right now. I really miss my dad, obviously. And I just feel like there's been a lot of hardships recently and i just i can't get out of this funk sometimes it's just hard to lift myself out of but i'm gonna try and do a better job today for myself for mike for the last day of this trip so let me show you my outfit and then let's go because mike's waiting downstairs for me to eat breakfast okay so this is the fit today i'm looking very like prairie but i think i mentioned to you guys the first day this is my new bag it's from Gianni Chiarini. It's an Italian brand. It's from Florence. I love it so much. I'll link it down below. I'm not affiliated. I won't make any money off of you buying it, but I did buy it in white while we were here because I fell in love with it so much. I just, this green is so beautiful. It's like a pebbled leather. Oh my God, to die. I'll show you more about it when I have time, but there's like so many pockets. It's so freaking beautiful. This is my cardigan that I got from Madewell forever ago. Honestly, this is just like my cardigan that keeps me warm on all my trips because it's been pretty chilly in Napa. It's like in the 50s in the morning and the 50s at night. Really freaking cold, but that's what makes the grapes so good here. The swing in the weather, so I'm not going to complain, but this is a, I guess I'll take the jacket off. This is such a cute um, Hugo Boss dress. I just like love how fitted it is like right here and I love a poofy sleeve but it's not like too aggressive because Mike doesn't like poofy sleeves and I love them but I do look a little ridiculous in them so it's a really cute and I've been loving like greens and blues so this is the dress really cute and then my trusty little rag and bone booties that are just like my Napa booties oh and then I want to bring my hat because this gives me like an alter ego in Napa and I need to bring the happy vibes today. So this is the fit. I also didn't unpack my suitcase on this trip, just been living out of it. And I've been doing a pretty good job of unpacking my suitcase, but not this time. But this is the look, green girl. Let me throw my jacket on real quick. The chilly Napa morning outfit. I feel better. Like honestly putting this hat on, I have an alter ego. It's like my Napa hat. I need to come up with the name of her, but I love it. I feel very feisty. I feel very Californian, which is the ultimate goal in life. I really want to buy, really want to buy an orchard, a vineyard, an orchard. An orchard is apples, a vineyard is grapes. Oh my God, you know what I'm saying? It's very early. I've only had one cup of coffee. Let's go have breakfast. Let's go to, I forgot which winery we're going to, but they have horses there. And then we're going to Louis Martini later for lunch, which I'm very excited. We went like in 2019, the first time I think that we came here and the food was the most delicious fresh food I've ever tried. So I'm very excited. Let's start the day. Let's have a good day. Here we go. Let's go. Well, it was a journey to get here because someone put in the wrong winery, which will let go? it slide. Where'd he go? Who'd go? The person that put the wrong journey. Yeah. Oh, in. yeah. Where did he go? He looked just like you, but I guess it wasn't you. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. But we're here. Nauseous, but here. Hi, Stella. She can't be bothered. Cute. She's very lethargic. I feel like she's like my spirit animal. Yeah. 
I feel like she's been eating the whole time we've been here. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Could you imagine having a horse with that backyard? Oh, wow, he's just freaking out. Wow, what a view. I wish we all could be California girls. Can't be bothered. <gasps> Come here. Oh, what's he trying to get? Oh, come here. <gasps> You're so cute. Uh, hi, cutie. <gasps> hi. I love a place that just has free cats to pet. Free cats. <laughs> free cats. Hi, Marvin. Hi, Marvin. Is he eating hay? Wow, that's a lot of hay. Hey there. I want to pet him. That can't taste good. It's very dry, no? You need like a sauce with that. Soy sauce. Yeah, what are you saying? What are you saying, sir? I think he's saying something. Capture. Yeah, I wish you could cap catcher. Capture. Catcher. Like how pretty this is, but you just like honestly, like video just doesn't do it justice. It's like so big and you feel so small and insignificant, but like in a very comforting way. Tell us where we are. We are at Louis M. Martini. Yeah. Where we've been once before. And we always wonder why we stare at the wall here. Yeah, we don't know why we a, stare at the wall it's here. It's a pretty property. But. The food is absolutely amazing. We're so, not actually here for the wine. We're here for the food. We're here for the food. So here's the food. So here's we the have first our wine, though. Our food. What's our wine? We have the so we 2018 have, Merlot. Yes, yeah, so a 2018 Merlot and a 2014 Meritage. Uh huh. Oh, no. Sorry. Meritage. Meritage. That's what he told us. It's not. Oh, okay. Tage, it's, it's not tage. as fancy as we think that it's it is. It's merit and heritage. And then we got, look at this spread. We got torta. Which is this? Garden squash, pickled vegetables. Yep. Burrata. Yep. Fava. Yep. Oh, sorry. Burrata and fava pesto. So I, there's no burrata there. Oh, that's it's here. Pesto. Yep. This is the pesto. And there's speck. And look prosciutto. at this. Yes. Homemade focaccio, almonds, and olives. How good does this look, babe? The food here was delicious last time. I'm really hoping it's as delicious I as it was last as time. Delicious as well. Let's do it. Let's do Let's it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hello. I just got out of the shower. I'm back in New Jersey. It's so crazy how vacations go by so fast. Um, yeah, so we landed at the airport. I think I took a clip of it. Welcome home. moment we got off the plane and went to go to the baggage claim we saw like this long massive line of people waiting in the baggage claim area with like policemen everywhere so then thankfully Mike and I went to the bathroom before the police then evacuated the entire baggage claim section and we stood outside for like an hour and we just got home like 30 minutes ago I showered washed my hair my outfits were fabulous in Napa but I just was not I only wore makeup one day. The other days, I literally just put concealer, my brows, and I put some mascara on because my skin, guys, still isn't 100% right from that Friday. What is it called? The jet, lask, the jet lag mask from Summer Fridays. Oh my God, guys. And it's been like a week and a half now. Has it been two weeks? No, it's been like a week. It's been a week and a day. I'm being a little dramatic, but... 
So I didn't really wear any makeup and I'm kind of mad because I packed all that makeup only to leave it at the airport. We got evacuated and our bags didn't make it off of the plane. I honestly don't even know if they made it off the plane yet. I'm gonna check United and see if they even made it to the carousel, but like we waited. And by the time we were leaving, a bomb squad came, a bunch of firefighters. So it just really looked like it wasn't gonna be done anytime soon. Um, So I left all my makeup. I left my new green handbag, my Rent the Runway dresses, my favorite cardigan. Like I have so many things in that checked bag and I know they're only things, but like, I don't like not being with my things. I know, very materialistic, but it's like a comfort thing. So I don't have a hairbrush, so I don't know how I'm gonna brush my hair tonight. I left my wet brush in that bag. I left a toothbrush. So I texted Mike and he said shop right. But anyway, I'm just saying like, I feel like for all of the Napa trips that Mike and I have been on, I'm pretty sure this was my fourth time there had the best time like honestly I always say when in doubt go to Napa like that is just my spot every year when Mike's like where do you want to go for your birthday I always say Napa last year we went twice I just feel like this time was like a little bit different because it was the first time I went there with my dad passing and there's just like a lot going on in my life so it was really happy and I had a great time but a lot of ups and downs this one um but I'm really excited to edit it, to upload it, to watch it back. I hope I got enough footage because like I said, like I had really, really great days and then some days weren't as like great, but it's okay, that's life. It was a great time. I had a wonderful time. I just feel like things haven't been the same since losing my dad. A lot of highs, a lot of lows. I'm gonna end it here guys because my battery is dying and I left my battery charger in my suitcase, so. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this vlog is interesting because I don't feel like I even vlogged that much, but I had a great time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.